Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman with our last video of the MyCloud EX4 before we have to send it back to Western Digital. They were kind enough to lend it to the show. Uh, what we've done now is we've put the drive in what's called scary RAID mode. It's in uh, RAID 0 configuration, which basically stripes data across all four disks. So it gives us the full eight terabytes of, of drive space, which uh, is great to have that much drive space. However, if we lose a drive in this configuration, the entire array just goes down. So uh, probably not the recommended way uh, to run this for mission critical applications, but if you're trying to get the most speed out of the device, uh, this is the way to do it. Uh, you have another option. You could uh, run it in RAID 10, which is a similar uh, spanning striping mechanism, except it'll, it'll basically mirror two of the drives to the other two. So you'd have a redundant backup of, uh, of that RAID span. But uh, this is the fastest uh, you can get and also the best way to get the most storage out of the device. So uh, we're gonna pop over to our Blackmagic speed test. And right now, uh, we are connected to the drive via AFP, which is a standard Apple file sharing protocol. And as you can see, the writes are, are a lot better than we had in our initial video. And check out the reads. We're gonna be like into the 100 megabyte territory here in a minute once, uh, once things get cooking. So uh, it's really a, a fast, uh, much faster way to access the drive, although it does come with some risk. Um, so my advice would be to run it in that RAID 10 mode, which is a little bit safer and that you have a mirrored backup on the array. But uh, we're definitely getting a lot more performance out of it. I suspect the RAID 5 mode uh, that it comes by default with, which is uh, using all four disks, but having like that 20% reserve doing the checksum and whatnot requires some CPU. And I think that might have slowed down the transfer speeds, but we're definitely seeing better speeds with that. But I also wanted to show you the difference with iSCSI, and I think this also might be a CPU issue because if we switch to iSCSI mode, uh, you'll see those, those pretty fast read and writes go back down again. So we'll just choose that, and we'll hit the start here. And uh, the writes are about the same, but the reads, let's see how the read does here once it finishes writing out to the drive. You know, the, the reads are a little bit slower, and again, I think it's because of some CPU uh, that has to go, come into play when it's, uh, when it's using that. So, uh, but you know, I'm not all that disappointed with the performance. I mean, this is a great network storage array. You know, I, I think if you're doing something like video editing or something where you need a, a boatload of speed, you're gonna have to spend a lot more. This is a very reasonably priced uh, you know, RAID array that I think will do a very nice job of storing your data. It has a ton of features. Remote access capabilities are great. We covered all that in the first video. So uh, overall, I think it's a, a great tool and a very uh, multi-purpose tool. It's a Swiss army knife of storage for sure. So, uh, but I got to box this up now, unfortunately, and get it back to its home. Uh, but we are going to be taking a look soon at the EX2, which is uh, a, a two drive version of this. So we'll, we'll have the MyCloud, the original one with the one drive on the consumer end, this on the pro end in the upper level, and then we've got one right in the middle, which we'll be taking a look at in a couple of days as well. So this is Lon Seidman, and thanks for watching.